Hello friends and welcome back to the Dream Channel, a place for read alouds, lessons, resources to teach young minds about kindness, diversity, equality, and activism. Today friends, we are going to be reading a book called Alley Oops. And this book was written by Janice Levy and it was illustrated by C.B. Decker. So let's jump right in. Oops, written by Janice Levy, illustrated by C.B. Decker. Jonathan Jason Jax, get in here right now! Uh-oh, J.J. said to himself. Sounds like trouble. Young man, Mr. Jax said, we need a father and son talk. J.J. rolled his eyes. Which means you talk and I listen. Watch it, wise guy, Mr. Jack said. Do you know a new boy named Patrick Montgomery? J.J. sank deeper into his chair. You know who I mean, Pigpen, Porky, the Big Oink. I hear that's what you call him. He's a little overweight. A little? When he walks, the ground shakes. Mr. Jax put his hands on his hips. His father stopped by. He says you've been picking on his son. J.J. shrugged. He's really fat. He sweats a lot. Mr. Jax frowned. Heavy folks got a right to their space, same as skinny ones. Now, the boy doesn't want to go to school. He's having nightmares. How would you feel if everyone picked on you like that? J.J. narrowed his eyes. Nobody would. Besides, I'm just having fun. Well, once upon a time when I was your age, J.J. yawned. Are there going to be any dinosaurs in this story? Mr. Jax cleared his throat. See if you can keep your eyes open until I get to the end. He leaned forward. When I was a boy, I was just like you, fast on my feet, even faster with my mouth. One day, a new kid came around. Mr. Jax made a croaking sound. And he talked like this. Like a frog? Mr. Jax nodded. He had freckles on his face and neck and all the way down his arms. I called him Frog Face. We sat on his lunch and threw his jacket up a tree. One time I got everyone to make him hop until he cried. Sound familiar? JJ looked down at his feet. That kid never did anything to me. I didn't even know him really. Maybe I didn't know what I was doing or maybe I knew but didn't care. Mr. Jax rubbed his chin. I thought I was just having fun. What happened? He moved away. I heard he went to a new school. I never thought I'd see him again. Did you? Well, last month I was in the hardware store and someone called out. Joseph Jacob Jax? It was frog face. Even after 20 years, I'd know that voice anywhere. Mr. Jack shook his head. He still had those freckles, but now he was two heads taller than me. I stuck out my hand, but he wouldn't shake it. What did he say? He said, I'm a police officer. I arrest people like you. And he showed me his badge. Everybody turned around and stared at me like I was a criminal. Because of you, he said. I felt bad about myself for the longest time. Sometimes I still hear your voice in my head calling me names. J.J. leaned forward. So what did you say? I told him I was sorry, but he said it was too late. Mr. Jack sighed. Now, I feel really bad inside, you understand? J.J. nodded. 
Your grandpa used to say, we have two dogs inside of us. One dog is bad, the other dog is good. The two of them fight all the time. Which dog wins? The one you feed the most. You get to decide. Mr. Jax paused. You think on that a while. After dinner, JJ rode his bicycle down the street. The new boy, Patrick Montgomery, was raking leaves. His shirt stuck to his sweaty back. When he saw JJ, he dropped the rake. Your father told on me, JJ yelled. I didn't want him to, Patrick said, biting his lip. Did you get in trouble? No. J.J. said, but my dad made me listen to one of his stories. My dad tells them too. If I interrupt him, he starts all over again. So does mine, J.J. said. It's better when they yell. My sister never gets into trouble, Patrick said. She's such a pain. Mine too. I get blamed for everything. Patrick kicked a pile of leaves. In my old school, someone threw a slice of pizza in the cafeteria. I ducked, and it hit the aide in the head. The principal called my dad. Really? Yeah, and when we had a substitute teacher, we hid all the chalk. She never came back to our class. I do stuff like that all the time. JJ paused and tilted his head. How'd you get so fat? I'm on a diet. My uncle's paying me a dollar for every pound I lose. You could be a millionaire. Patrick smiled. My uncle is rich. He owns a restaurant. Ever hear of the arm wrestler Muscles Max? Sure. He eats there all the time. Muscles Max autographed my shirt right on my back. Cool. My uncle takes me to arm wrestling matches. We sit in the first row. The wrestlers sweat on me and everything. Patrick leaned forward. Want to see an official arm wrestling table? My uncle bought me one. The boys went into the house. Rub some chalk on your hands, JJ. Now hold this peg with your left hand. Like this? Put your right elbow on the pad. Face the table nice and square and grip my hand. Muscles Max is awesome, JJ said. Do you know that new move he does? The alley oops? Sure I do. Watch. Hey! JJ's wrist hit the table with a thud. I know all his moves, Patrick said. The hook drag, the top roll, smack. Whack! JJ's wrist came down again and again. I give up. You're really strong. Your arm is like a hammer. It must weigh a ton. JJ wiggled his fingers. I saw a TV show where a guy weighed a thousand pounds and couldn't fit out the door of his house. That could happen to you. It won't. Why not? My uncle's got a bulldozer. They both laughed. Could you do the alley oops on the other guys at school? JJ asked. Sure. Patrick grabbed a gripper and squeezed. Then he chinned himself up on a bar. Okay, tomorrow after school we'll set something up. I'll be your manager. JJ raised his arms like an announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing the amazing arm wrestler, Pigpen. Patrick's cheeks reddened. Sorry, just kidding, JJ said. What do you want to be called? Hammerhand man. JJ squeezed Patrick's arm muscle. Cool. Later that night, JJ told his dad. One day, he'll be worth a million dollars. I'm going to be his manager. I'll get half of that. What are you talking about, son? 
Hammer hand. Hammer hand man in the alley oops. Mr. Jax raised his eyebrows. You know, Patrick Montgomery, the new kid, JJ said. Oh, it's a long story, Dad. See if you can keep your eyes open until I get to the end. As always, friends, I have linked my favorite lesson plans and resources in the description box below, as well as a link to purchase this book. So if you have a dream for a brighter tomorrow, click on that subscribe button. Let's step into the light together.